Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to Market Street. It is, of course, the Charlie Veach Show on the Charlie Veach channel. The, the, I'm a sole producer, sole director, sole star, sole presenter, sole writer, sole editor, sole everything. Um, you might be able to hear the dulcet, sweet sounds of Islamic prayer recitals behind me. And uh, it is, of course, day three of uh, Manchester Gay Pride, LGBT Pride. And uh, they say they say that one thing to bring disparate people together, one thing to bring the warring children of Abraham back together, is maybe having a common cause. So it was our uh, it was our top top G Moses, top G Moses. He said. Here's are the deadly sins. Save the humanity. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't pride one of the deadly sins, Ibrahim. I think it was. Pride comes before the fall. But it's, you know, we can't blame the poor little innocent children running around waving the rainbow flags. We blame the propaganda pushers that is uh, trying to stop them having babies because babies equals carbon. Carbon equals climate change and climate change makes uh, the Swedish doom goblin very unhappy. So uh, one thing I respect about Islam, they have lots of babies, they don't tolerate weird perverted things and uh, yeah it's quite quite strict so God bless you. We love having many children. I, don't, I just said, we love, it, we love it, we have children, you love, love it. Man. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's the most important thing in life to have Many, 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 many kids. It's creation, just like we were created. Course, we create, of yeah. You know, we exist because someone, you know, handed, handed years ago, 200 years ago, right? Man yeah. and a woman. Yeah. yeah. Got married and we are here. Exactly. So we have to, you know. And what I like to remind people, every single baby, every single human being is a result of a man and a woman in straight, straight lovemaking. All the best, Ibrahim. Take care. It's the transgender tram. It thinks it's a police car. Okay. They're obsessed with the diffraction of light in a prism. When you want to say to the police Volkswagen, you're not a pedestrian. What are you doing, mate? Hey guys, I don't I don't have any pass, I'm just walking through the street. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen to Fan Man. Fan Man's brapping it hard. Look. Go on, Fan Man. Go on, give me a couple of those for the video. Go on. Yes, thank you. So check it out. Fan Man was advertising the metallic fans 20 or 15 for the standard fans and uh, there's some pretty cool messages, look! <laughs> Not allowed bully. Not allowed. So we're at University Union, University College Union. There you go. Hi, sorry. I said young men. Or is it more Queen? Is it more Freddie Mercury? I think it's more Freddie Mercury. Check this out, look! It's n no not allowed to do bomb bomb! Oh, Vodka Man serious. Go on Vodka Man! Okay, we're down the more debauched end of uh, the gay village. I have a feeling many of the people here will still be up from last night. Let's go look at some casualty zombies. Main stage, okay. Check it out, it's gay Spider-Man. Argument, argument. There's a gentleman in a blue backpack has allegedly said a, a slur against the rainbow-socked gentleman. Oh, he's gonna kick off, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna throw a can, he's gonna throw a can. His friends are trying to stop him. All right, his friends, I think he's, uh, I think he's been, uh, he's been smuggling narcotics. Hello, bro, how's your pride going? I'm doing a video around Manchester. Hiya. I'm Daniel, and I can slut drop for you. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, a Mormon from uh, Salt Lake City. We're very Christian. I don't understand the festival. What's going on? Oh my God! I hate the gays. The gays? Wait, are you, a, are you a homosexual? What does that mean? Are you? 
Okay, let me ask you, why? <laughs> oh God, it's good value. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to offend you by calling you a, but are you, uh, why are you gay? Because I'm a piff. Okay, where about in Scotland yes. are you from? Pro telling you. Oh, go on. Anyway, um, Highland. Highland. By, by Bishop Briggs. Good. Oh, I've heard of it. I've seen it on the front of a train, but apart from that, anyway, all the best to you. Take you, care. You. I really don't know why you're fucking filming gays. No, I'm doing a comedy channel. It's not offensive. I'm, I'm pro-gay. I'm, I love the gays. So I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a Mormon. I just said that to be. Go on. Let's do. Oh shit! Look at that. I'm gonna do that in slow motion. Okay. <laughs> no, but thank you for the interview and uh, good luck. Look, look at that cinematic. That, that. Seriously, have a great time and thank you for your words. And uh, I'll see you in Bishop Brig one day. <laughs> Take care. All the best. You too, babe. See ya. So yesterday on the Reggie Photo channel on YouTube, nice guy Reggie, I watched the Manchester Gay Parade with a fire and brimstone Ian Paisley style Christian preacher with a very powerful sound system, very loud and clear. And all the LGBT people were crowding him, covering him, waving flags. There were police in attendance, so it didn't get violent, but they were trying to shut up the Christian preacher. Hey guys, you're right. All good, all good, all good. Hey guys, you're right. So um, here we have the muzzies. And I bet you none of the LGT, LGBT people are going to shut down the muzzies today, are they? Yesterday they were giving the Christians a very hard time. So in case you're wondering who I'm talking to, I've just been joined by four men with very good taste. They know my channel. And what are you guys up to today? Are you going to the chilling? Chilling? Are, are you part of the Gay Pride Festival? No, I'm not. No, you don't look like. It. No, that's not. All the best, guys. Yeah, take care. Take care. See it. See it. My name is Hu Wong Xi Jiaoping from the uh, Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party. I see Falun Gong, I start salivating. You should see the organs inside these people. Mm, they've got good diets, good exercise routine. Mm, I'm sure I've got an old uncle that could do with a new kidney or two. Falun Gong equals free organs. Cannot wait to harvest. Harvest moon, Chinese harvest, great leap forward. Give me some of that nice Falun Gong lower intestine. I see old, old Sheba's had enough, look. Old Dog, uh, he's, uh, he doesn't want to walk. Go on, Dog. Is that Sheba? Beautiful dog, is it old one? Old one, look at that grumpy old dog does not want to walk. <laughs> Come on, Sheba. Come on, mate, we're gonna make some new memes. Dog memes will never die. It might be a bit, might be a bit busy for Dog. He'll be all right. There you go. I like that. Thank you. It was a collar adjustment. That's all he wanted. Now I, I kid you not. I, I don't kid on this channel. The lady you see. Well, let me just move my camera. She caught me. Oh God, she caught me. She caught me. But the. She's gonna catch me. She's looking. She's looking. And <laughs> I'll do it from a different angle. Let's go. Let's go behind Robot Boy. Let's go behind the tree. Don't want to be too offensive to people. No, no, it's, there's no chance. She's, she knows. Okay, we're going to get it now, guys. The lady, you won't believe this. I, I shit you not. I'm told by all the people that work in central Manchester that this little, little lady here is a former prostitute. Guys, we're so lucky. You're in for a treat. Not seen these boys since Birmingham. But we are joined by the black Hebrews, the black Israelites. They are African gentlemen, African origins gentlemen who believe they are the real Jews. So Jews in Israel, Semitic people, stand aside. 
The real Jews are in town. Look at them. What are these guys all about? I, I, I don't really know, but I know that they're all racist. Are they racist? Why? Are they saying white people are shit? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. And then leaving them with children alone in the house. Oh, they're the Israelites. They believe that they're the real Jews. That's what they believe. They're the real Jews. That's what they believe. Us men what? have to gather They believe together that Jewish people are fake and, and that they, as Africans, are the real Jews. They actually believe the that. So the African men. people are from Jerusalem. The That's what they believe. Israel is the black and Latino man. Yeah. Hello, mate. Yeah. You kick people. Right Only when they deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Get away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheers, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Let's get some shots. Let's see. Let's get what's going on. Let's see. Preach it. Unto who? Unto you, a man. The Lord is calling you men first. Right. You men are kings on the earth. Yes. Yes. What's right. your name, brother? Kelvin, you are a king on this earth. Yes. What's right. your name, brother? You are also a king on this earth. Am I a king? Am I a king? Am I, is he a king as a white boy? No, white people are not kings. <laughs> and my voice is to the sons of man. And the Lord is talking to you men. Because you have a responsibility. You understand? The Lord is giving you gifts. Aww. Giving you responsibilities. But understand, the reason why this happened. That's the million dollar question. The million dollar question is, why did this happen? That's what we are, that's, that's the question. That so are you a king? Am I? Did they say that you're a king as well? Why I don't know. Are you not allowed to be a king? Okay, sorry, sorry. You're not allowed to be a king. I don't think so. All right, fair enough. There you go. Some bed shop up there, though. I might go on. We disobeyed, which broke us as a man, and it broke our family structure. Fucking the word. So easy to just go like that. To come back to these laws that we broke. Yeah. That's why I'm here We're not going to shoot anyone. We're not going to stab anyone. So calm yourselves down. We're here to build the structure of the nation of Israel. That's what you don't have to understand. The nation of Israel, right. ten tribes. So you will be from the tribe of Judah also. Do you understand? Right. Let's get Jeremiah 14 verse 2. All right there. Because what you're going to understand is... What's with the black guys? The people in the Bible, they've always been so-called black people. That's right. Right. So-called right. colored people. But that's the issue. Why don't we know this? Because you got some men thinking they're Jamaican. On this side, you got thinking they think they're Nigerian, Ghanaian, Brazilian. Why have we got so many different labels when we're one people? Right, Let's right. get it. German, Africa, Actually, the man is wrong. Yeah, there, there is more like genetic variety, people, variation in Africa than in any other continent. So to say that all African people are one is uh, is wrong. There's more genetic variety, say, between the Congolese and the South Africans than there is between the... Are you from Congolese? Do you know about the genetic variation in Africa? Thank you. Thank you. Genetic variation gave birth to everyone else. Absolutely. Yeah. So, after listening to these guys, are you a Jew? Are you a Jew? I am a Hebrew. It is historically true. Are you the... No. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you why, right? Go on, go on. There's a book of Dr. Deuteronomy in there, right? Yeah. And then it kind of... God gave the people back then, or the Hebrew, two choices. Yeah. If you will obey me, these things will happen to you. Okay. If you will disobey me, this thing will happen to you. The people of Judah, they are blood. The Hebrew has disobeyed. I see. And then everything God does. It talks about how we have been taken by ship everywhere in the world. If you look at the whole world, yeah. people trans uh, in, in, yeah. in Jamaica yeah. here, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. In, so if but, look, no, sorry, that's what, that's what, the, the most right. profound thing for me that made me say, okay, okay, they have a voice. It said, you will be, like, you have kids, they'll be sold. You won't even be able to enjoy them, the food or anything like that. What you said, you will be a byword amongst the nations, right? The word byword is a the Roman term his to an ethnic about who right? everyone made What's the most image? popular Bible? You're allowed to say it. I won't, I won't be offended. Let me define yeah. it. Yeah. The by word is an offensive word, 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 word given to a from specific what? nation, from okay. an ethnic group, or a group of people, right? Yeah, yeah. Or a race, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is the most popular by word in this world? In this world. So who was made the most Black people? We were. Yeah. That's an offensive word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most popular. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've done is I summarize it to like three, four lines. Yeah. Through yeah. hundreds of descriptions. It all matches to what happened. Yeah. So I guess for pride, these people are transracial. They are they are black men from Africa, originally from Africa, 
who now identify as Jews. They are now Jewish. And according to the rules of LGTV 4K+, no one can stop them. Or embrace it. It's good to embrace it, you understand? Oh, I wish I'd caught it. They said Jesus Jesus Christ was a black man. We're to build up our people. Is it true? Was Jesus Christ the black man? I don't know, no one knows. Nah, he was a Jew. He was a Jewish man. You're happy now, man. Are you sure? 100%. Now, knowing that we are the people of the world. Which? Will he shake the white man's hand? Which? Oh, he's refusing. Oh, he won't shake the white man's hand. See the guy there saying, we need more love, please shake the white man's hand, but they're all refusing to shake the white man's hand. Imagine not shaking someone's hand on the basis of race. Is that the ist word? Are they the ist word? I'll shake your hand, bro. Look at that. There you go. And now Israel, what the Lord has done to come. But we have to clear up what you said, because you wait, said sorry, it sorry, on the mic. Yeah. Right, sorry? Made a no, 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 but you guys don't own the pavement. I just want to be over here. I'm going to finish this. I want to film the discussion. Thank you, thank you. It's okay, I'm, it's okay. Who did not see? What did Christ do? Who did not see? So Christ is not Oh, it's kicking off. They're having an argument. I sinned by healing. I didn't say sin. Oh. He broke the law. Uh-oh. The law was not to do what sin is. That's kicking off. Let's let's see what sin is because you have a misunderstanding. I want to know what sin is. But he broke the law, right? Under the image of Jesus. His heart desire is for all the beast to be saved. You following? But what Okay, all welcome back to Cracky Gardens. That's just a little panoramic. A little panoramic with the city tower up above. And uh, cheeky thoughts. Every time I see one of these new modern improved um, flags, it's nice that they put the circle in there. Just, you know, there's an ancient Buddhist symbol you can insert into that circle and it would make the flag very funny. <laughs> Luftwaffe, <laughs> the, the gay Luftwaffe. Okay, so I've been walking around for a couple of days during this festival, a lot of uh, disparate groups, religions, cults, ideologies, and uh, they're all kind of like water off a duck's back. They all pa pass like a, a, a fart, a bad fart from the first row in an open air tram. An open air, you know those like Portuguese, San Francisco trams. They're there one second, they're a bit scary, but then you just breathe deeply and they're gone. So, hello, I'm just in the middle of, you don't mind I'm videoing? All right. I'm very well, thank you. Do us a favour, pal. Like, you know the, the rule, don't you, with the photos? Certainly with, our, with what we do. No faces, please, pal. If you can, mate. No faces, yeah? Oh, I have to s politely disagree with you guys. Yeah, yeah no, I, I would never, but no one... But let's just, the irony is, you called me over, and I'm still recording, no one would have no, no, seen the yeah. faces, yeah. Yeah, but what's the first thing he says to you? Hi, Charlie, how are we doing? How's things? Very good. No, you guys, nothing to worry about. No one would ever... Not in this country, it's not. Except everyone that wants to kill us. Yeah, but, you know, maybe in like Colombia, Brazil, they attack cops, but they wouldn't dare in this country. But no, I appreciate it. I won't film your faces going forward. No worries. We'd appreciate Thanks. that challenge. No Thanks problem. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. You too. You too. Well, I didn't fancy an argument with a bunch of men with guns, but... I don't think there is an actual rule about filming armed officers' faces. I'm gonna furiously get out my phone and uh, check Google now. Well, this is journalist Charlie. Let's do the reveal. Where's the reveal? Oh, come on, Van. It's going the other way. Anyway, I've just looked up on the old Google. Is there any specific laws around videoing, taking photographs of the armed officers? The armed policeman in the van, he implied that there was a specific law about capturing the image of uh, armed police. I don't think there is. I've not found anything specific. I certainly would know, as it's my job. I think he was trying to discourage discourage the filming of uh, police, and he was polite-ish about it. He didn't kick off by the very fact I was filming his face there and then. So I'm not really sure how serious he was, but if success comes with compromise, if success comes with compromise, I'm going to scream for them all to put their balaclavas on when I'm in the area because I'm not going to change my filming style. Because I mean it, I don't think there's any risk to armed police 
with gangsters or scumbags or criminals or whatever, mafia, coming back to attack them if they recognize them off a, an incident? I don't think there is. The reason I was filming these three is the individual with the see-through top had, uh, had her breasts removed and there were the large scars underneath where the breasts used to be. And I found it very sad seeing that, if I'm honest, very sad. I think there is some metaphysics to extreme uh, body modification along gender lines. Is uh, Young people feel things very strongly. And uh, when you're angry at God, you're angry at the universe, you're angry at existence itself, uh, one way to fight back against the fascism of reality because you can't change it is to try and alter yourself but I'm going to spell out what it is it's C O P E it's mega cope I'm sorry adults can do whatever they want but it's 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 mega cope um, latch on to infinity and eternity and you'll find that the uh, gender your sex you're born with doesn't upset you so much you're like oh well I'll do 90 years of being a man, or I'll do 90 years of being a woman, and I'll, I'll try something else next time, whatever, but it's, uh, that's all I've got to say, actually. Don't give him money, good, give him tempi, okay. The guy, want, he's hovering by the cash machine, harassing everyone to get him 10 pounds, 20 pounds, and it's uh, annoying. It's annoying, 